It's what you've all been asking for. Paddles and effects. Let's shoot these two off. VB2s. All right, under the Mexican flag, it looks like this. It's up to says VB2, not VB2W. This is the Waza Craft or Waza Craft? Waza. Waza. Nice, Nick. Um, this actually is OG Boss CS2 compressor. You're like, Juan, it looks like a reissue because it's so clean and new. Well, that's how I shop. 65 bucks, fellas. Get off me, future music, Highland Park, California. So this is my setting. I always use the setting on my bass. Fretless. Okay, it's gonna be noisy. Nick's crying. Hear that? That's single coil pickups. I just it doesn't matter once you're playing, it sounds awesome. So single coil pickup right back here. This dude, bridge one, into the compression sustainer CS2, out of that into either of the vibrato. Same settings. Now we will say though, so this S and C, the S is the Standard. is this standard. The C is a, a new filter, custom custom filter sound in it. So, um, other than that, that's all we're doing here. We're just gonna A, B them and let you guys hear it. Everybody asked me what I thought. I'll let you know what I think after I play. Here we go. VB2 OG. I'll try to play similar to that. It's hard, you know. You got that uh, volume fade on the lock. Well, I wanted you to hear how the pedal reacts as you reduce the volume, uh, the input volume. So here we go. Now it's up to you guys to just sit there and rewind that shit on YouTube for hours and you tell me which one. Um, it's just, to me, like they're both dope. Um, and this one comes with the extra colors. So let's see what that sounds like. has a little bit more of an organ sound to me. There's also the the depth expression option. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Well. So over here you got an expression pedal out here. Um, but you know, obviously the big difference in this probably more than anything is the price. Is there like four or 500 bucks now, maybe six, I don't know, depending if you find a clean one. This isn't, so this is under 200 bucks. So, I mean, yo, go with this. And then also, I mean, you get this, you know, the, the, the standard and then the, the, the new colored filtered sound. So I think it sounded awesome and I would use the shit out of that. So to me, I need to have both now. So I have this. Luckily, Boss was tight enough to send me this. So now I own both. And, and they, you know, did, they did the knobs too. Knobs they did the exact same fly. knobs, yeah. which is rad. I mean, they did do a new compressor. That's, you know, but it was a cross between the CS3 and the CS2. And you guys all know I only like the CS2. So maybe if they reissue the CS2, they'll sell a bunch of, oh, you checking this chair volume? You should send it through the vibrato. I wish we could. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop something and he's gonna switch back and forth. And I'm gonna do my best. We're gonna do it. How many times should we do it? 20 or 10? I think m many, we'll see. Okay, we'll do many. Okay, so here's what's happening. We have recorded a loop that you're satisfied with, correct? Yes. There's nothing wrong with the loop. It has not been altered in any way. Right. Okay, so the loop is gonna go into the CS2, and we will play the loop through one time, and at the end of each playthrough, you will hold up a number one for the original vibrato, correct? Yes. You will hold up a number two if you believe it's the new vibrato. So, you will hear a ding sound if Juan gets it correct, 
you will hear a buzz, a very just ugly, just fucked up sound if he gets it wrong. Uh, this is the most scientific way I could figure out how to do this on the fly. It's really hot in here too, by the way. So, um, all right. Now, have I influenced you in any way or do you feel comfortable? I'm ready to go. Please do not look to your left at all. I won't. Okay. So. I don't want to win. I just want to see what happens. All right. Please tell me when you are ready. I'm ready. All right. The one thing is the rates seem a little different, but I know we tried to match them. Yeah, yeah, that's I, cool. It's it's cool. It's cool. A couple more. A couple more. <laughs> Fucking DL4. <laughs> Plus, it's like fucking 100 degrees in here. It is 100. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Listen carefully. <laughs> oh, man. Can you hear that one again? <laughs> one more time. Just don't... don't. Okay, I think that's gonna complete the test. And how many did I get right? <laughs> my, I, I was, I lost track because we did so many. But I'm pretty sure you got a lot right. Yeah. I think you're probably in like the 90 percentile. Yeah. It's that. It's the. You know what it is? Is it's the. It's the envelope of it. It's like the way it comes into the envelope of the vibrato, like wow, instead of wah, 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 You know what I mean? Like, there's a rate adjustment, and it could be because. The settings aren't totally exact. That's what I think it is. I bet, and you know what else I was gonna say? I bet if you switch this to the color one, I bet I couldn't tell the difference. Or if I do, it's gonna, cause this seems to have more of that quality, but then it starts to sound a little more like an organ. I think the takeaway is for someone who knows vibrato really well, like yeah, you can tell the difference between vibratos. One's not, you know, it's not better than the other. You just know the difference of how it reacts to your playing. Whereas me, the average idiot listening, fuck no. Like we would, there's no way you're gonna you're gonna know. But for you, the player, I think definitely. All right, there we go.